New at noon, a death in custody at the Hialeah Police Department. A young man dies after being tasered by a police officer last week. And now his family wants answers from the department. Local 10 News reporter Tamika Vickham is with that family in Miami Gardens with more on this story. Tamika. Well, the family of Trayon Johnson live in this home here just behind me, and they have been here every day since Thursday, surrounded by family, just grieving and trying to wrap their heads around why they now have to bury their 27-year-old son. I mean, everybody he met, he touched in, in a very special way. So it's like to see my brother gone, it's like, why? Like, yeah, why? Just hard for me right now. To, to, you know, it's, it's hard to explain and go into detail about certain things. Trayon Johnson, 27 years old, a backyard brawler and photographer at nightclubs. His family says those are the qualities that make his sudden death so confusing. Basically, it was a very good shit, very good shit. Johnson died in the hospital last Thursday. Police say they arrived to the area of East 7th Avenue and 24th Street around 7.30 that morning after someone called police saying a man was in their backyard beating their dog with a metal pipe. When police arrived, they say it was Johnson who ran off and violently resisted arrest. Police say they used pepper spray and a taser to restrain him. He was taken to the hospital and died around 6 p.m. that night. Some people can't handle that well. And that's why I feel like it caused him to go into that state of shock of going into cardiac arrest. I just want closure. I just want to know from what happened, you know, because it's always two sides to every story. So, you know, we got the police side and then we got speculation side. Now, if Johnson did in fact die after being tasered, he will be the third person in the past month to die in this way in South Florida. Now, Hialeah police say this is all still under investigation and Johnson's cause of death is not clear at this time. Reporting live from Miami Gardens, I'm Tamika Bickham, Local 10 News.